Sam Sai is a pretty typical high school student. He loves dancing, he has a part-time job, and he's looking forward to graduation. And like many other students, he volunteers. But where he volunteers isn't so typical, because Sam spends every Saturday volunteering at Port Alberni's Ty Watson House, a hospice facility that provides care for those at the end of their life. There was a notice on the church bulletin board which said that they wanted volunteers. And I said, well, oh, well, why not? It'd be something I could put my time into. At that time, I didn't even know what hospice was. It was later on I learned about hospice and learned what it was about. But Ty Watson House isn't your typical hospice facility. It really is a house, a place that provides personal care in a home-like setting. And Sam, who has always loved cooking, volunteers in the kitchen. When Sam comes to work with me on Saturday mornings, he just brings such light and such energy in his youthfulness, his smile. And maybe that's the most surprising part of this story, that smiles and joyfulness are such an important part of hospice. I find joy here because it just, it really shows the, the two sides of what life is. Just be able to um, bring a smile to the face or make it a little meal fancy up the plate, cook up a little bit of chow mein or something. It does seem to be the little things that matter the most. And Sam's ability to live in the moment and connect with the people around him is clearly part of the reason he has become such an invaluable part of this team. I've seen another side of Sam that even in his youth, he's an old soul and he totally gets it. Everyone's so busy whenever you're here, time just doesn't, time always seems to stop. And just being able to cook, make a batch of cookies, talk with them, play checkers or crib sometimes. Sharing a smile, cooking a favorite meal, even playing cards. It all sounds remarkably like the things we might enjoy doing in life. And according to Gail, that's precisely what hospice does. It's totally a house of life. We live every day to the fullest, whatever that is. Without volunteers, we would not be able to do what we do. We wouldn't probably even be able to have a Ty Watson house, let alone the services of a Ty Watson house kitchen. When you're younger, that you usually start to live a lot by time, and you start to think, oh, what time is it? What day is it? What do I have to do? But really, when people start to get to the point where they're in hospice, and when they start to age, it really starts to become more, um, you live more by their heart. Every second is more of something that they just solely appreciate something like a simple smile, a simple um, conversation means more than the world to them. And today, that meant that when a resident asked for a glass of orange juice with pulp, Sam squeezed it fresh and served it in a crystal glass, just the way she liked it. We want to celebrate every single minute of life. We celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, whatever it is that, that our residents want and families want. We even if it's just a fresh uh, cup of coffee and a warm cookie around the kitchen table.